Hi guys, welcome back. I thought I had been recording this whole time since I started this little topper and I wasn't. And I didn't know until a text message came through and I thought, well, that's odd. Normally it's quiet. It quiets them. So I will just show you really quickly what I've done. Oh my goodness. So I have a priority mailbox that is thrown in the basement for if we need a box or something. I took just a little bit of white gesso and I um, just put a little white gesso on it. But I don't think I need to actually. And then I went through, this is the haberdashery from Paper Studio and I used this piece on the inside of the cover here. And so we just flipped through to see what kind of pieces I thought might work for the cover. And there was this piece that had these butterflies and this flower. So I fussy cut those and um, I'm using those because I feel like it's it's gonna, um, ooh, that black would be a cool contrast too. Anyway, I just think it's gonna give us a nice cover and a nice feel and um, yeah. And this paper is a pretty thick paper pad. It's like a craft stock. So what I have done is I have a piece of vintage music paper here. This is vintage dictionary page that I've got torn down to size. And again, I will check for any potty mouth words. And then I thought, you know what I should have done when I was uh, decoupaging for this cover is I should have used that book that has all those potty words in it that I'm always worried about using um, for glue pages when I'm filming because it's really got some potty mouth words. This is some burlap. It's a celebrate it from Michaels. It says fall on it. So I assume I got it on clearance after the, um, when they were clearancing because I don't, I generally wouldn't buy burlap. And this was a doily that I just cut a corner off of for some contrasting color here. And I just thought I would position it kind of up the side. I fussy cut these. These are both embossed already from the pad. And I'll clean up these edges. And I was looking at this flower and trying to decide if I wanted to use the flower with the butterfly. And I think I might, but we need some more color. We need some more brightness. Um, and we're gonna need a word of some sort to put on here. So I'm trying to decide what I wanna do as far as a pop of color. Um, this paper pad, like I said, it's, it's pretty sturdy. It's more like a craft stock than anything. And um, I've really enjoyed working with it. I've actually done a few projects with this paper pad. I've done a paper bag journal. I've done, um, some envelopes. I've just used pieces, parts of this journal in various projects. Projects? Sorry. Anyway, so um, yeah, I really enjoy it. It's a little dark though, and so I do find myself shying away from this project, but because of the colors that we have used today, I think that it's really going to lend itself to a nice journal topper. I hope. I've got my colors right in my head because I can't touch that cover right now. I have taken uh, the matte medium and gone over the cover and so that is drying in the other room on a piece of parchment paper. So yeah, but I wanted to just see what we can do here. And I'm trying to think if I maybe want to even add a little bit more of trim or something just to really give this topper some uh, dimension. I've never done this before. I don't know what I'm doing with it, but it's something that has intrigued me for a while and I thought, why not? So I'm gonna get this topper done and I'm gonna go work on something that I'm supposed to be doing, not this, while the first video uploads. And then hopefully that will give that cover time to dry and then we can work on just building a simple signature for it and uh, see what I feel like doing. I'm like, do I just want some simple coffee dyed paper in it? Which I think I do. So I've got my Ground Espresso Distress Ink. Ground Espresso, not just Distress Ink, Oxide Jody. 
And I say that, if you didn't catch that flippy thingy video that I did, I kept saying my Distress Oxide, which clearly I was using Distress Oxide, but I was using the Vintage Photo. So my apologies if um, you were wondering what the heck I was talking about. So it's still raining and kind of gloomy. My husband called and said my his stepmom's birthday is tomorrow. And so he had asked her, you know, what do you want to, oh, that's going to pop nice, I think, with those darker edges. And so she determined where she wants to go eat for her birthday. She doesn't get out much. So he's been over there doing some work and trying to help her out, help his dad out. But he, So we're going to try to take her out for her birthday. Last year, we were not able to for obvious reasons. And um, I don't know why I just inked that side. You're not going to see it. That's okay. Anyway, so for obvious reasons, last year we weren't able to take her out for her birthday. And um, so I'm thinking she's happy to try to get out of the house this year for a little bit. She's going to be oh, 81, I think. Yeah, 81. Anyway, so let's see. All right, what do we think? I think I like it. Mm -mm. I don't have any idea what I'm doing. So, but that's, I think, going to give us some good pop of texture. But I think there's something that needs to be behind that butterfly. It's still just a little too stark for me. So maybe some curtain cut up. Is that going to be too much white on top of that? Let's see. Have I already cut this one? I know I have. Oh, maybe I haven't. Well, guess what's happening today? We're cutting it. And I just want a little bit. Oh, that'll be good. These are my paper scissors that I've had forever, and they are getting quite dull. All right. And I may ink this with just a little bit of vintage photo. Oh, and see, that's not even going to be like the right texture. Well, that'll go in the scrap bin. Okay. Maybe just some cheesecloth. have to do some research on the computer and that is why I'm absolutely avoiding doing what I need to do because I just get I don't want to <laughs> but if I don't do it nobody else will and I can't even remember what all my husband was like can you look up blah 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 sure and um not really saying that I remember what all I was supposed to look up because I didn't write it down all right let's see if we like this any better. I really want it to be distressed and like it's been loved and used and been around a few days. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'll ever watch that movie. Oh my gosh. It's like a terrible movie, but it's hilarious. We're the Millers and that kid that Johnny P or whatever his name is. And he's like, you know what I'm saying? Cracks me up. And a big joke in our house is no regrets. And so we we're just messing with the kid one day and he's clueless. He <laughs> didn't think we were very funny. We thought we were funny. He did not think we were funny. I am not liking the cheesecloth either. Okay, so maybe I just find some threads or, okay, let me think. What do I wanna use? Oh, what if we take a piece of this? Mm, that's going to be too dark, I think. So let me just stop for a second and think about what I want to do. Okay, so after a lot, a lot, a lot of struggling, we're trying to figure out what I want to use. I decided I don't like this. It's just too dark. I need something a little bit brighter. So then I got an idea. And let me see. 
what we want to use to cover this because I'm thinking I'm going to put a pocket here. I'm going to cover this and then I'm going to put like a small pocket on here and we can tuck a little something in there for the front cover. So that's kind of what I'm thinking, but I have to determine what I want to cover that with to start with as our background. And since I have cut this music paper already, I think I'm just going to use that. Although that's not really a design. So if I were to use vellum, we might want like a picture, right? And because we're using earthy tones, I'm thinking we might want to maybe use a bird on the front. And what did I do with that? I just spent last night sorting my um, birds that I had cut out. And so I'm thinking, got my ephemera thing here. Some of these images are just awesome. Like that would be, that's almost big enough. Oh, I'm really liking that. Are the greens of our cover gonna come through? Let's see, hang on. Okay, don't touch it, it's still wet. <laughs> I stuck my finger in it on accident. Okay, so hopefully you can see all the variation in colors on that, right? And so what I'm thinking is, once the set's on there, oh, that's gonna be really pretty. And I really like this hummingbird picture, but let's see if we find a picture we like better. I'm gonna just move that over there for now so I don't have to keep stopping and starting this video. Ooh, here's this one that's also very pretty and would match. These are out of a bird book that I have fussy cut. And I think that, so I hold this up to the light sometimes and that helps me, sorry, see um, if I center those birds, then what we're gonna have. And I really think that would be a cute image on the front. That would be really sweet. That would be really sweet. We could cover it in the book page or in the music paper though, and put these guys on there. Cause they're gorgeous. I'm just a little pop of color. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's just what we're gonna do, right? Cause I like it and I wanna do it. So, um, yeah, so what else is new? Like, nothing's really new. Let's see, with the kid, oh my gosh, his grades. So the other day, did I say this in a video already? I may have. I called his guidance counselor at school to see what he needs to, I was gonna stitch around that. Well, I'll have to let it dry really well now before I can. Anyway, I called his guidance counselor at school because we just needed to see like what he needs in order to pass the year. And that's very difficult for me as a parent or just as a person. I graduated with honors, like I literally lettered in academics. And you know, it doesn't mean that it, he's not a stupid kid and that's what makes us so mad. He is not stupid in any way, shape or form. Not at all. In fact, he's too smart for his own darn good. But I've said before, you know, if he doesn't see value in the lessons that he's learning at school, he's just not going to do it. And to some degree, I can understand that because if you don't see value in it, what's the point? And I'm a why person. I am such a why person. Like, don't tell me just because. Like, if I don't understand why, I'm going to rebel. And that's just the way I have been for a very, very long time. So when I was in corporate America and they would roll out these insane rules and stuff, I'm like, why? You know, why would you make a bank in small town America have pretty much the same sales goals as large city America? It's illogical, it doesn't make sense, and it's not gonna happen. And then as a result, that salesperson is getting, ugh, I don't wanna say reamed, but certainly 
the displeasure of not meeting those goals is being expressed and it's quite frustrating because you know when the economy in some of the small towns wasn't growing and there was nobody new coming to town it's like we would you know you can't squeeze blood out of a turnip but from the managerial standpoint I can understand that you know the pressure was on the managers too to meet the quotas and this the growth and having had a business I totally understand you want your business to grow but now you know what that was I was trying to leave the title of the author on the bottom, but maybe we'll make that like a little tag. And then what I want to do is just take a sliver off of the edges because I, um, I wasn't thinking. Big surprise, right? You guys are probably like, Jody, when are you ever thinking? Come on now. Okay. Because I just love this picture. Oh, there. I like that better because it gives it a frame. Oops. Sorry about that. Yeah, it gives that a bit of a frame, and I really like that a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. It's beautiful. I love these images. This artist, his name is Alan Brooks, and I cut out so many images of his out of this book, and they're absolutely beautiful. I mean, I just love them, and um, I really, really enjoyed um, cutting them out and just flipping through that book. These images are, his images are the reason I bought this book to Fussy Cut, because to me, like, I don't care for that style of real photo. It, to me, I just, the, the colors aren't there. For me to completely enjoy it although I do have um, in my in the book some large images that I did find to be pretty cool and I actually folded them into envelopes so I'll be excited to try to incorporate those into some journals as well um, I made a mess with that glue goodness all right. Okay. So let's get this down. I got that. I need a napkin. Put that glue on the front of that. It's shiny. I might be able to use a wipe if I'm gentle. And then after we do this, I have got to go do my homework um, and do a little bit of research. Oh, perfect. It's not gonna hurt a thing. See, I was worried for nothing. That is so cute. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. And that gives us a pop of color with all this earth tone, which I am loving. And where is my vellum? Guess where it is not. Hmm. Maybe I want to cut that down just a little at the top and the bottom so it's not so long. No, I don't think I do. It's like matted, right? Do I want to? I think I do. Just maybe an eighth of an inch off that. That's quite a bit of extra. That's better. Mm -hmm. I still haven't gotten a new blade for my cutter either. And I need to do that. Yeah, I like that better. Much better. Ooh, I wonder, I have some green lace. That would be kind of cool hanging off here too. Okay, vellum. Stick to the plan. I'll be right back. I thought I know exactly where it is and then I didn't and I had to go find it so sorry okay yeah that's just one piece okay so what I'm thinking is just a little bit of a vellum pocket across there and then like
maybe a little tag poked in there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. So where is my ruler? I'm going to do this quite scientifically. Are you ready? Just go down to that corner. Boom. Done. And I have a really cool edge now on my vellum, which I really like. I'm just going to use just a smidge of my art glitter glue. I have heard, oh, hopefully, the, okay, good. Oh, shit. Shoot, sorry. I had heard that um, there's a different kind of glue than the art glitter glue that does not warp the vellum. And I can't remember. I think I saw it on scrapbooking with me. And E was talking about it. So I don't know if they have it in their shop. I'm still trying to get that rust out of my art glitter glue and it's really frustrating to me. Um, I don't want to waste the glue, obviously, because it's not cheap. Is this one rusting too? No. This is a stainless steel pen. My friend sent me a charm and I love it, but the bead came unglued. I gotta fix it, which I can fix it. It's not a big deal. I think it probably just got beat up in shipping. <clears throat> okay. I love that. I love it. And then I know I have some green lace. So I'm thinking maybe just, I don't know if I want to do any green or not. Ooh, I have an idea. I wonder where my paper straws are. I don't know, but I have skewers and I have green green um, stuff, what you call it. Is that the right color green? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. What I was wanting was a um, paper straw to wrap it around, but we're going to do something different instead. Okay. This is a chopstick. Just a bamboo chopstick. And I probably, I don't have any clue where that is. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do, let's just see if it's going to work or not, even as an idea, is wrap this around. Oh yeah, that's going to be really pretty, I think. Hopefully I'm on screen, you can see what I'm doing. And just make like a... Um, I don't even know what you would call it, to be perfectly honest, but you see that I'm doing. And I don't think I started that up high enough. Oh, good. I was just trying to hold that against my body and press that up some. Mm -hmm. I don't have to get... Uh, I don't know if there's a hand saw in the basement or not. I'll have to go see. It's raining. I don't want to go out in the garage to cut this to size. Even if I had a little bit of the bamboo itself showing, that might actually be kind of cool, huh? No, I don't know. I didn't even mean to do that, but that's kind of neat. Okay. All right, so let's do this. Just tying that around there, just kind of on itself. And I need to do the same on this end. See, that came undone because it wasn't, I thought it was knotted and it's not. Not knotted. Isn't it funny in the English language how many words we have that sound the same but they're spelled differently? Yeah, I'm gonna have to glue it for sure. All right. But if I get those ends glued, Fabri-Tac. This is three in one, it's not Fabri-Tac. 
I just use the term interchangeably sometimes. But anyway, it's, you know, I think it's interesting in the English language how many words we have that sound the same, but they're spelled differently, or if they're spelled the same, but they have different meanings. Like, who thought of that? <laughs> like, read and red, or red and red, the color red, or you read a book. Like, whose bright idea was it to have them the same words? I just think it's funny and I really struggle with grammar and like if people don't understand how to use your your and your or there there and there it really frustrates me to no end and I'm kind of ridiculous about it you see these memes or these things going around like on Facebook and stuff on social media and I'm like oh that would have had a really great message if the grammar was proper <laughs> and then I feel bad because I feel like I'm being a grammar snob, which I guess to some extent I am, but it's not that hard. <sighs> and if you're not sure, the World Wide Web is an amazing place. Oh, I kind of like that. Does that look weird? I think it's different and I like it. It's interesting. Okay. All right. So now... What I want to do is where is it? What does it matter? Because I put my punch away anyway. What I was thinking I was gonna do is just take some coffee dyed index cards, an index card, and make a couple small tags to go in there, and then maybe we'll do just like um, a flower or something. I don't know, just a couple tags is gonna be cool though. So I'm gonna um, figure out how I'm gonna glue this and how I'm gonna cut this, but I do think I'm gonna leave it a little longer, like just make it a little like even, so then I can center that on that edge of that, and that would be kind of cool. And then we'll get some little tags made for in here and then get it glued down. And then hopefully, hopefully, don't drop it. That'll look nice on there. I think it will. So that's what I'm thinking. All right. So we'll be back in a little bit. Okay, it's next day. I should probably turn some lights on, huh? So we can see what we're doing. That would be helpful. All right, how is everybody this morning? I know it's a continuation of the same video, but it's a new day, so whatever. <laughs> okay, so here's where we're at. So I have the cover made, and I made this little dowel, and um, the tie, was between the dowel and doing a bow, which I did show pictures of. So it was so funny because I asked two of my friends and one said the bow and one said the dowel. So I had a tie. And so I asked my husband this morning, I said, hey, I know you don't really care about this stuff, but can you help me out here? And he's like, what? And I'm like, well, which one do you like better? And I showed him the pictures and he said the dowel because it's unique and different. So we are going with the dowel. And it's actually a chopstick. I think I said that. So I'm going to set this aside for right now. I'm going to have to put my use my hot glue gun on this, I think, and, and because I'm not sure how I'm going to stabilize that for like three in one to dry without it wanting to move. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this on. I'm going to weight it under a heavy book so that way I know that it's on there good. It's had plenty of time to dry. So I'm going to do that and let it dry overnight. Um, cause we have to take my husband's stepmom to dinner tonight for her birthday. And so I know I won't be in here messing around tonight. Okay. So we have the cover and then I was playing with some of the coffee dyed pieces. I will tell you that some of the matte medium kind of bled over the top. So what I did was took this sanding block. It's a drywall block that I kind of confiscated from my husband. No, he let me have it. 
after I took it. <laughs> so I just took it around the edges and really scuffed the edges and got that little bit of glue off, but it really gave it, gave it a distressed, um, distressed, uh, aged. Oh my goodness. Worn. That's the word I'm looking for. Worn. Look. Oh my gosh, I have been yard sailing like crazy this morning, which I'll tell you in a minute. Anyway, so then I was flipping through my coffee dyed paper that I just finished and had under the book. I just wanted to put together just a simple signature. Um, I'm not sure. I'm thinking about putting a map page in here too, but I'm not sure. Um, anyway, so this is what I have so far. Vintage dictionary page. This is hummingbird page out of the same book that I cut this image out of. This is vintage music paper. I think it's like 1930 or 40 something. Anyway, these are ledger paper, copy dyed paper, dictionary, hummingbirds. Um, the music paper, sorry. I was looking at that, where how I have that folded, and that may be a little too snug for a tuck, but I think when we divot that out and just slide a card in there, it should be okay. I don't want to refold that too much because it it's dirty, but it's old, and I want to be really careful with it. Anyway, oops, and a doily in the middle. So that's what I have so far, and I just thought I wanted to do this simply so that um, whoever... Uh, gets it, you know, can and do what they want with them, really. But then in, in that same book, you can see I could, you can tell I cut on it. I thought I'm going to cut these out and make journaling cards out of them. And then um, cut this one out. I wish this one wasn't so big, but I may be able to put that, if it fits, just on a pocket or something. Mm, we'll see. I don't know. It may be too big. So anyway, that's kind of my plan at the moment. I'm going to very simply embellish this. I am going to add um, coffee dyed envelope as a flip of some sort, you know. Um, these have really great color and texture. So I just have to go through and see what I want to do and if I can get them apart otherwise they may end up just becoming pockets anywho okay so that's where we're at with this um so I'll just tell you really quickly and then I'm going to end this particular video um here I'll glue this on while we're talking I think I'm going to use I think I'm going to use tacky glue um so Oh my gosh, hilarious. My husband is like, stop bringing stuff home. Stuff is not really the word that he uses, but you get the meaning, you get the gist. So he's going this morning to go over to his dad's to help him do some stuff, right? And he calls me, babe, there's five yard sales on such and such road. Oh, really? I'll be right there, where you at? On such and such road. Okay, well, there's also one by the community library. And I'm like, is he there, is he not there? And so I was trying to determine whether or not to turn and what to do, whatever. I'm using quite a bit of glue. This is gonna set, and I wanna make sure it's got a good strong adherence to the front of this. Um, so anyway, so he was at the one sale when I got there and it was hilarious because he had stuff in his arm and he was like hey lady you got some money I don't have enough money for this stuff and I cracked up laughing because I wasn't even fully into these people's driveway yet like he's walking up to me right cracked me up so then they were chuckling because they realized that obviously we knew one another and <laughs> so we had so much fun anyway so then we went there and went to the others. And at one, I was picking through some, I just wanna make sure there's a lot of weight on this. I was picking through some craft stuff and he was like, I'm leaving, I'll see you later. And I'm like, okay. So then I end up at one and this, these ladies are like, hey, there's one at such and such place. And I said, you guys are enablers. And they looked at me. <laughs> They looked at each other and they looked at me. They were quite <laughs> not sure how to take what I said. I giggled because I knew I was kidding and didn't mean it as a negative, but they didn't know that. So just 
FYI, don't call people enablers <laughs> unless they know you're kidding. And I have my little group of friends and we call each other enablers when there's something we're like, hey, look at this or whatever. Anyway, so that's kind of funny. And I thought I'd share that. But I hit the mother load. I got a set of National Geographic magazines. I got, for, it was on a free bench and, and a couple of other books that were in it that were free. And I got um, a set of encyclopedia books for free. I asked, a, there were two dictionaries in the box and I wanted the dictionaries. And she was like, it's the whole set. And I was like, well, how much for it? So I really didn't want the whole set. And she says, you can have it. So I took the whole set. And then when I got home, I flipped through one of them just really quickly. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad it has amazing images in it for making ephemera. So anyway, and then, um, so yeah, I just got some really cool, fun stuff. And so it was a fun morning. So I'm a little wound up. But <laughs> anyway, so um, I'm going to finish this video so I can try to get it uploaded before we have to leave. Please let me know what you think about the pages that I have in this signature and what else or something different or just what you think. Because I'm just curious with building it like this, what, what you guys think. So as always, I really appreciate the time that you spend with me. I am greatly humbled and just so grateful. I know there are so many options you have and when you choose to spend your time with me, it really means a lot to me. So thank you very much. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.